Right, let's take a look around this um, late Series 3 um, hardtop with windows. Um, it's also been fitted with a professional V8 conversion. Rather nice actually. It's also got three wheel front hubs on it. Um, it's got this uh, Simbars big front bar and um, spots there. Haven't checked to see if they're wired up, but I believe they are according to the, uh, the history. It's also got the mount for um, bonnet mounted spare wheel there, although the spare wheel is in the back at the moment. Um, set of Weller uh, eight spoke wheels. What are the tyres on this? A 16 inch to me. Can't quite see what they are. 205R16s. Um, very, very smart actually. Traces of um, an old Land Rover sticker on both rear wings just along there. Uh, it's got a checker plate up the rear door as you can see. It's also got the um, points for uh, um, the tailgate as well if you want to put the tailgate conversion on. It's got tow bar. Let's go around in a bit more detail. As I say, very, very smart. Um, it's in the original blue. I think it's the original blue anyway. It's been repainted. It's quite nice. It's obviously had some paint work at some point over the years, but uh, rather good. We'll start here. A um, couple of tiny Land Rover battle scars on it, as you expect. A little dink just there. A couple of marks on the bonnet. Um, looking down the near side, we've got a, um, a dent just there. And the uh, sill protector on the near side is a bit crinkled. It's actually got a slight split in it just there. So if you caught a rock or something at some point. Um, it's locked. Uh, let's do that from the other side. All the doors do lock on this one, um, and the windows do as well. Um, let's carry on around there. Near side rear wing, good. Let's show you in the back. Um, we've got twin bench seats with uh, seat belts and everything. That's my bag, spare wheel. It's all there as well. Um, tailgate looks pretty good. As I say, the tailgate has been um, checker plated up the, uh, uh, up the, uh, the outside of it. A um, bit of paint loss here just around the back of the offside rear wing. There's some paint loss around there. And once again, the shadow of a Land Rover sticker um, just on the wing there. But really, very, very smart indeed. Um, roof's got a couple of marks on it just along there. Driver's door's nice. Bulkhead tops look pretty good actually. No evidence of, um, of having had work. If it's been done, it's been done to a very high standard, I think. I'm letting myself in for something there, aren't I? Um, but all the weld marks are all right, yeah, that's fine. I think that's pretty good actually. Very quickly show you the uh, the motor. If I can get the bonnet up. There we go. There we go. Proper three and a half litre V8 Rover motor there with uh, running on um, on twins and with uh, uh, some proper air filters, but uh, proper conversion one way or another. Um, Inside, it's all pretty good. Uh, no, well, there's obviously a rip, a rip underneath that, <laughs> underneath the tape on the, the driver's seat back, and the driver's seat uh, on this back bit has gone right through. So, you, I mean, the replacements are easily obtainable. Very rare to see one that hasn't got some rips and tears in the seats, in fairness. Um, the rest of the interior, the floor's all nicely matted, it's got the original type mats in. Um, dash isn't too badly cut about or anything, it's been cut out for a stereo. Uh, so it's had new door tops, but it's lovely. It's really, really nice landy, actually, this one. A lot of money been spent on one another. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any other issues or queries that you want to discuss with regard to the Land Rover. Anything.